gram negative infections include e coli klebsiella pseudomonas serratia and it's less than 10% of the early onset sepsis but it contributes to 20 to 30% of late onset sepsis and 30% of neonatal meningitis as well the mortality is higher in the low birth weight babies up to 50% uh, early diagnosis improves your survival meningitis mortality is 20 to 25% for the more than 35 weeks and in uh, less than 30 weeks mortality is very high 50% may have long term sequelae uh, the risk of uh, gram negative infections can come from maternal infection or colonization and the gut translocation can happen so a baby with hypoxic ischemic uh, problems or Hertzsprung disease or any other form of gut inflammation may have gram negative sepsis from gut colonization and viral uh, gastroenteritis may also be a risk in the extreme preterm babies it can also be nosocomial though it's less common than the coagulase negative staph gram negative sepsis often leads to very sick babies with prolonged thrombocytopenia conjugated jaundice and gut abnormalities there is rapidly changing patterns of resistance following antenatal antibiotic use 